Hello gentlemen, my name is Master Rolfus and I'm here to give you guys another planetary knowledge cast between the members of Realm and the members of Other Realm with Brad Nicholson in one of the teams. This is going to be a really awesome fight because we have an Uber Dev playing on one of the teams as well as just a really awesome fight as most of these players are really experienced PA players in the Alpha as well as the Beta itself. So I'm going to read off the players, Wrong Cat, Consume, Brian Perkins, The Killer, Requiem, Orbnet, and Baconific. And then we also have Mef Lotus Mott 9001, Cryonic, Sayoto, Brad Nicholson, and two other people. I can't see them because they're blocked off by this damn UI thing. Ah, I'm sorry. Anyway, so over here we have four blue commanders starting off on the left side of the lake. And we also have three blue commanders starting off on the right side. They, so they have complete domination of this lake over here, which is pretty good. They can utilize this lake to build some naval structures and thus be able to build some blue bottles. Blue bottles are pretty good as a turret substitute. They have a good amount of range and have a good amount of damage output. Now the right side of the lake has a pretty good mechs field, so they can get some economic benefits as well as over here, over here. And as well as over here on the left side of the lake, there's a good mex field. So all around, good mechs is going on for blue. Let's see for pink side. We have three commanders isolated over here. There's not a lot of good mechs fields unless they want to travel up north to go and hit blue's right mex field over here. Well, we also have four commanders completely isolated by the three commanders. Now, this is actually a worse position for pink to be in than blue because blue can easily defend each other due to the fact that they also have this causeway as well as this area completely under control, whereas pink, they have to go around over here, around two lakes, as well as going around over here, which is generally not really good, not really good indeed. It's going to create a lot of problems in terms of reinforcing each other. So hopefully they're able to fix that, so to speak. My microphone has dropped, unfortunately. So now weird stuff is happening with the cast, but already we see the blue commander taking on the doxes over here. Going to be able to kill one, two, double kill, maybe even a triple kill, which is pretty good. Destroying pink's early military gain. We have a second commander coming forward to help out the other commander, which is pretty good. If they're able to isolate this pink commander, they can score an easy commander kill. But the pink commander completely ignoring them, getting the naval factory, pretty ballsy stuff. They could lose this easily due to the two other commanders coming in to stop that pink commander, as well as the mounted of uh, fabricators coming in helping out the vehicle factory production as well as maybe even healing up these commanders for a comm duel let's see what happens the commander getting in very close to the pink commander pink commander was almost done with the naval factory then bam completely stopped by this blue commander so now he's going to have to be able to force the uh, missile turret to, to be finished so that he's going to be able to uh, put up some damage output on this delta commander delta commander is able to destroy this naval factory which is pretty unfortunate for pink as maybe if pink got that up as well as secured it with a little bit of missile turret spam he would have been able to control the lake which is pretty pretty good you really want to control this lake for the blue bottle spam the two fabricators however will finish off the naval factory i'm not sure why he wants to do this actually he should have just kept this uh, original naval factory alive instead of leaving it to die then built it with the two fabricators and the commander and then built the missile turret afterwards that would have been a lot better but i digress pelter is coming out over here but will be stopped by this blue pelter which is pretty unfortunate as blue will also build a pelter over here to try and gain domination of this area why does this might keep moving there we go so over here, both commanders are still fighting it out to the death. None of them are taking any fabricators with them anytime soon, which is a little bit weird. You would see fabricators healing up the commanders as the com comm duel was going on, but I'm not sure what the strategy is with that, or maybe the players are just neglecting. Good expansions are coming out from blue. Blue is expanding over here, so it's expanding over there and expanding over there, but who cares about that? Let's look at the action right now. Two commanders fighting off against one commander, and one commander is not being healed up. I'm not sure why the other commander is not being healed up. Pelter is coming in to help out the... The battle between a blue and a pink right now. Blue is sending forward some ants to help out, but the ants are being completely routed to death. I'm not sure why the ants routed. They should have continued fighting on, continuously bombarding these commanders. It's probably more important than taking a few hits or potentially taking a few hits. The uh, pink commander is going to take on both of these commanders, being the incredibly ballsy badass that he is. And also, the pink commander is going to be supported by a couple of doxes as well. The other. The Raptor Commander, let's see what the Raptor Commander as well as the Delta Commander can do. The Raptor Commander of Pink is going to be able to isolate and maybe even destroy Blue's Raptor Commander. But it seems like the damage output is just not enough. They need something like a Pelter or a Laser Turret that Blue has. Blue already has two Pelters firing at both of these Commanders right now in a pretty good 
a situation for blue. Both of these tanks are going to go down. However, pink needs to move forward and destroy these fabricators. If they're able to destroy the fabricators, they will win this engagement. Pelter coming out from blue is going to be able to annihilate this uh, blue bottle over here. So... They do have to worry about that. Pink is also expanding as well. So both players are expanding very, very well. Right now, I'm just concentrated mostly on this heavy action over here on this side. Blue Bottle is going to be made, which will be able to maybe put out enough damage to turn the tide of battle. Maybe even being destroyed by the Pelter. Two naval factories are also being built. So uh, Pink's naval factory production is going to be halted due to the fact that their naval factory was destroyed. As well as another Blue Bottle is going to be made, which could outnumber the Blue Bottles that Pink has. Unless Pink does build another naval factory, in which case he could maybe compete with them. Another Pelter is being built. So it seems like Blue is going for the Pelter spam over here, building out four Pelters. This will be enough to stop any of Pink's early aggression. Pink is countering with Pelters of her own, but so far, they're not really hitting their targets. Blue's Pink is going to go forward, attack some Fabricators. They gun over here on this Alpha Commander, and this other Alpha Commander is going to go forward and try to flank around and kill as many Fabricators as they can. The, this Delta Alpha Commander is really, really low right now. Oh my god, the Day Gun! Destroying the Alpha Commander entirely, but weakening the Delta Commander and the other Blue Commanders considerably. Another D gun could be used to destroy these other Blue Commanders, but no, instead the Pink Commander does go down again. We need a D gun. We need to see D gun. And oh my God! Triple kill for the Pink guy. Three Commanders on one side, three Commanders on another. It's three for three right now. As th the teams right now are even on commanders. We see these four commanders still alive, still moving out strong, expanding all over the map. We see a large contingent of skitters, I mean spinners, as well as ants being formed up over here. Maybe trying to push forward and attack this area over here, which is not defended as much as it should. Three tanks, but that's still not enough. Commander's going to move forward with a couple of ants and maybe even trying to hit this side of the base. We see a tier 2 advanced vehicle factory being built by Pink, which is very, very good. Some levelers are coming out from that. I would like to see a lot more advanced fabricators, but then again, they're not probably concentrated on economy as much as they should. However, Pink's expansion is going to be destroyed. Now, this is the outcome of this battle, however. Even if it was um, the both commanders, both three of the uh, Pink commanders as well as three of the Blue commanders were destroyed, it doesn't really matter as Blue Pink didn't really have any defenses over here and Blue was able to exploit this and because that Blue will be able to destroy this expansion, which is very, very huge. You don't want to lose your expansions to your opponent. Even though this was a complete reset in which three commanders and three commanders on both sides died and it was an even trade, still, it's going to go more in favor of Blue because Blue is able to push out against this defensive array over here, able to destroy this... Uh, Expansion over here, which means both pink is destroyed economically as well as defensively, which is really really bad Pink is also being pushed up by this Delta commander over here There is no defenses coming out from pink pink is really lacking on necessary defenses right now And they could and maybe even snipe this Delta commander or maybe even this Delta commander could be sniped I'm not even sure right now because the leveler is damaging uh, the, uh, this Delta commander to a considerable de degree this pink leveler is just doing so much damage if they're able to continue to pursue. If both these commanders, as well as this leveler, is continuing to pursue against this Delta commander, this Delta commander will go down. It just will go down. There's more ants coming along the way, but it's just too much damage. It's way too much damage right now. I'm thinking that this blue commander is going to fall to these two pink commanders. So it's already four uh, pink commanders to three blue commanders which is really really bad blue does not need to lose this many commanders so early on the commanders are very very important they are able to produce units at a faster rate produce buildings at a faster rate as well as just being a pretty good tank all around more shot there we go it's pretty pretty unfortunate blue will be able to move into this side and be able to sort of expand a little bit build a little bit of a tropical house a condo maybe open up with a few kids here and there there will be some naval units out to stop Blue's total expansion of this place, so Blue is going to need some sort of like pelter defense or catapults in order to destroy these naval units. So that's something. Pink is going to push forward with three commanders. Three commanders. The Wombo combo with the leveler. And they're going to be des destroying this entire defensive array. There is a pelter being built. But the last is just too much offensive units right now being used. They need to have something a little bit more sturdy. Like a tier 3. Uh, what was it? A laser defense tower. Or maybe even a catapult. Maybe a Hulkins. Anything that's tier 2. Not tier 1. Definitely. Another vehicle factory is being built in advanced nature by Pink. Let's see what's going on in Blue's base. So Blue is expanding rapidly as well, building some Tier 2 Fabricators. This is definitely what they need. They need to build some nukes. They need to build some other Tier 2 structures, some economic structures that would be very, very important indeed. They are also expanding rapidly towards the west side as well. 
they're going to be pushed back by pink however on the side so that means they're going to lose potentially these three factories as well as all this territory over here as well as these this tier two and this tier two that's being built as well let's go to the east side the east side nothing really is happening on the east side which is a little bit strange there is a massive troop buildup maybe even a tier two advanced vehicle factory being built so we could see some levelers some ants over here that are going to push on this side and destroy blue's base over here which is very very important the space is important because it leads on to these power fields over here and these vac factories over here which is basically the backbone of blue's economy as well as production now then um what we need uh, what i want to see out both of these players is definitely some nuclear action play i want to see some nukes i want to see some orbitals orbitals in terms of orbital lasers i don't really want to see some orbital shenanigans in which an astraeus can move about the fucking solar system and become a stupid retard and never land on another planet in fact there's only one planet so thank god for no astraeuses because i hate astraeuses anyway so spinners are being used against ants that's not very a good strategy it's never really a good strategy to use anti-air units in order to supplement your anti-ground needs but he does have ants to back that up which is good commanders are going to move forward accompanied with levelers as well as the fabrication vehicles i do believe that the levelers are a lot more dangerous than the commanders simply because the levelers have longer range they have a lot more damage output and the commanders even though they can destroy an entire base with their explosion if you destroy them before they reach the inner sanctum of your base then they will do very little damage like if you destroy the commanders over here then they're just going to destroy the three factories but if you destroy them over here then that's obviously going to be very very bad indeed i think the pink is going to do a commander rush simply because one sayoto one of a realm um team member has suggested it and has suggested it in the past is a big fan of it and two because they have an excess amount of commanders and they know they can get away with killing off a commander or two but blue cannot kill a commander or two because they have only three commanders however pink needs to be really really careful this leveler and pelter concentration of fire right now is just way too much there's a lot of damage being done on this alpha commander and they need to really really keep this alpha commander alive they also need to kill off this leveler they really really do need to so levelers coming in for pink they're going to be able to take out the, com the levelers of blue which is pretty pretty good what pink also needs to do is destroy this factory i'm not sure why pink went into full retreat with his commanders he shouldn't really do that he should have just continued on to support his own pink levelers as well as the commanders that he had now he could potentially lose this alpha commander due to the fact that he's retreating which is very very bad you don't really want to do that blue is moving forward with a couple of ants going to do a little bit of a raid but the blue bottle should be able to take care of that yep there we go goodbye ants loss over there and there was also a laser tower so they were never going to do enough damage we see a large contingent of ants over here as well as over here and moving forward over there but they're being stopped by pelters as well as the commander and the ants in this causeway so they're probably going to move over here where the two twin barrel laser towers are which isn't a very uh, pretty good strategy in the long run however if they go through this chasm then hit over here bam this is a weak spot this is in a very good weak spot they should really exploit this like the battle of fucking thermopylae take these ants Build a laser tower while you're moving in your ants and just destroy this place. That is what I would do. So now these commanders have retreated completely, which is really, really bad in my opinion. They should have really continued the um, attack, destroy this tier two, and then destroy all these buildings over here. Maybe lose a commander, like one of them. I think blue does ha uh, pink does have a lot of defenses, which is definitely a problem. They don't have as many pelters as blue does, which is really, really bad. Pelters are really the name of the game, as they're a very good dedicated artillery unit, better than the actual mobile artillery units, and they do a ton of damage, and their fire rate is pretty, pretty excellent. Right now, the tier 2 spam of pink is continuing onwards. We see three advanced vehicle factories. That's more than blue has, which is really good. And we have a fourth over here. So right now, their level of production is better than blue's, however. And blue really does need to counter this with her own level of production. Or maybe some catapults. Maybe some other tier 2 units. There we go. Some catapults. Maybe some other tier 2 units like hornets. Maybe some nuclear missiles. Hulkins. Stuff like that. Hulkins would actually be pretty good. Their range and fire rate is actually excellent, and their damage is decent. Not one shot like the catapult, but definitely pretty good. Especially against large chunks of units. These two commanders are very idle over here. He has three or five, five blue bottles, just protecting this lake, which is pretty good. Pink's navy is definitely more important than blue's navy, as a pink can hit blue's target or uh, structures with her navy whereas blue really can't use anything with her navy i mean attack anything with her navy simply because her navy is um 
kind of blocked off in one lake, while Pink's Navy is in two different lakes. Right now, I do think we're going to see another attack by Pink with Commanders against Blue, but I'm not sure with this many levelers. I don't really like those odds. Right now, Pink should have taken the opportunity to attack this area. Now, with the Pelters attacking all the units over here, as well as the Pelters attacking all the units over here, he was whittled down quite a bit, and he lost all these mexes, so that's a big problem indeed. Should have really taken the opportunity to do so and attack. Pelters being built by two of the commanders, which is a pretty good strategy, but I would like to see some Tier 2 artillery actions, some catapults, some Hulkins, anything really. A nuclear missile launcher would actually be the best thing for this game. Just take out this whole assortment of catapults, take out this whole assortment of factories, this whole assortment of power plants. No one is building an anti-nuke. A lot of the time, you'll see in many pro-level games, if I could use pro-level in quotations, and... Uh, Many of times you would see in just massive battles, a lot of players would pick the anti-nuke as the primary source of sort of their defensive line. And you know what? That's not a bad solution. It does defend against nukes, which are the primary source of destroying a base. But at the same time, I would like to suggest that there are other structures at your disposal that would be a lot better, like Hulkins, like catapults, like stuff like that. But definitely a nuke would be way more important. It would be amazing. It would be incredible be able to destroy huge chunks of the space and because nobody is using the anti-nuke as their primary source of defense people are using their laser towers and catapults which is pretty good it's pretty good to see that switch because that we're going to have to see a nuke being used you cannot not build a nuke and your opponent not getting an anti-nuke and you're not going to exploit that like if your opponent is not going to get an anti-nuke and you have the option to build a nuke build a fucking nuke into god damn it it's like you're literally giving a gun and a zombie's at you, but you're not going to shoot it because, I don't know, fuck logic, that's why. Pelter is going to be able to destroy some of the ants, but again, Catapult going to be able to destroy some buildings, which is good for him. One shot kill, good. I'm not sure why he's put in full retreat. He could have actually defended this with a couple of well-placed units, the micro, some of the Pelters, and then, you know, the healing of some commanders with the leveler support. Pink is pushing out in more battles than he should be. But then again, he probably doesn't want to lose this commander potentially. Let's see, both commanders are fully healed up. But then again, that could change rapidly if they do end up exploding. So that would be really bad. A large contingent of forces are coming out from blue to attack this side. But there's just way too many pelters and there's just way too many levelers and units here to really do anything. I think six levelers is probably worth the equivalent of 24 ants. I know I'm making a large assush, um, assush, bleh, sorry, assessment, but if levelers with proper intel and proper micro that um, are used, then what will happen is that the levelers will be able to annihilate the ants in general. I just don't see it any other way due to the fact that the levelers have such a high amount of range and a high amount of damage. Seems like even, I've eaten my words quite a bit about uh, pink. Uh, Navy being more powerful than Blue's, and I'm really, really sorry for that. I didn't expect Pink's Navy over here to be wiped out by the Pelter spam, but I guess Pink didn't end up building a Tier 2 Naval Factory, which is going to end up hurting them in the end. So now Blue, Blue has been able to take advantage of this lake and has now been able to produce Blue Battles at a rapid pace and has basically gone unchecked, which is really, really bad. You don't want your opponent to be dominant in one area for a large amount of time and go unchecked as if you let him go dominant in air, orbital, sea or land and you don't check up on him or you don't fight him, then he will be able to outspam you in that area and thus dominate you, which is really, really, really bad. Anyway, so Blue is continuing her attack against Pink. I'm not sure why uh, Pink wasn't able to produce any more tier three or tier two um, laser towers. She should have really been doing so Ahead of um, earlier, to be honest, I think earlier on you sh she should have been doing, you know, tier two spam up the wazoo of turrets. But already we can see one commander going down, so it's too late for one commander. And Blue's going to continue moving forward with the levelers. Again, Pink, you got I mean, not Pink, but again, guys, you got to re really realize that laser towers as well as defenses themselves are just very, very important in this game. And getting that tier two laser tower could be the difference between life and death. And basically, Pink didn't get those um, turrets at a faster pace than she should have, and that's going to end up hurting him in the end, or hurting her in the end. I know I say her a lot, but I like to use, um, I like to address teams in a feminine sort of way, just because you address nations in a feminine sort of way. I don't fucking know how that works. Large assortment of answers coming forward, so like I said, levelers, laser towers, pelters, 
It was just too much. Oh wait, the Pelters are actually dead. So you know what? Blue could do a considerable amount of damage, but Blue's already destroying the massive assortment of energy and mexes that are in Pink Space right now. And they're all tier two, which is very, very impressive indeed. So it seems like Pink is on the back end right now of the game. They weren't able to utilize the naval vanish that they had um, in the beginning to their full effectiveness, and because of that, they've been slowly and slowly whittled down. The nuke is coming out from Blue and is going to be able to destroy the vast assortment of factories as well as weaken up the majority of the commander's health over here. My god almighty, I can't believe I missed the nuke being built. I guess I have been focusing a lot more on the action. So, nuke has been built by Blue, which is pretty, pretty good for him, and because of that, he was able to exploit Pink's weakness of not building the anti nuke, so that's very, very good. Blue is also building a tier 2 Stingray. So, like I said, Blue is able to completely exploit his advantage in terms of naval forces. And he was left unchecked because of that. These blue bottles are just doing as, uh, a lot of damage. They're doing more damage than they should be. And this tier 2 naval factory, if it was built, would be able to annihilate Pink. Pink is being pushed up due to the fact that he wasn't able to defend against these levelers. Because of the fact that he wasn't able to build enough laser towers. Like he should have been doing so that's a big problem you really need to make those defenses as fast as you can and you need to really tech up those base defenses as fast as you can as well like tier two like tier three you need to get those as fast as you can hulkins tier three laser tower i'm not sure why pink stalled he did stall a little bit and that was definitely to his downfall he will be able to heal up the commander to virtually take no damage but these fabricators however cannot heal each other they don't have that godlike type of micro so it's definitely gg for pink and it's definitely blue who will take the cake in this game pink just had a lot of opportunities to sort of destroy blue but alas he was able to let blue just sort of rapid expand and that was a big big problem he was able to build catapults all over the place factories all over the place tier two all over the place utilize the new the naval factories to build a nuclear missile silo which shouldn't have happened even though i wanted the players to use the nuclear missile silo oh yeah think about catapults they do a shit ton of damage so these catapults will be able to eventually kill off these commanders even though they have a lot of fabricators healing them up Blue's use of catapults was actually pretty important in this game. The pelters were pretty important as well. Basically, Blue used their base defenses in an offensive matter. They were able to build catapults, pelters all over the place and use them to gain control of lands and strategic objectives. Well, Pink went more for the spammy route with units, but alas, it just it just doesn't work out in the end due to the fact that if your opponent just has way too many base defenses, it's never going to work out. It's just never going to. So now Commander is going to blow up. All the fabricators are going to die. And there's just too many catapults. Look at this. Five, six, seven, eight. Good fucking God almighty. Why? And there we go. Last commander is down. GG to pink. And good game to blue. Also, another thing that probably caused pink to lose would be losing this expansion. That was a pretty big loss on his economy. As well as just overall control of the base of the map he did have some control of this lake over here with the two nail factories but he lost that pretty quickly due to the pelters over here being un left unchecked and because blue was able to build a naval factory over here so good game good game see you guys next time bye bye and i love you brad